Why must the Eden rage and imagine a vain thing? Child of God, the Lord wants you to know too much. Enough is enough. Too much. Too much wickedness. Too much beguiling. They have tried to take your kindness for weakness. They have been sabotaging you. You have been working like an elephant and you have been eating like an ant. The Lord said, why must the Eden rage and imagine a vain thing? I'm going to come in agreement with you. And this is what the Lord is instructing me. Every single thing that I say from my mouth that resonates with you, I want you to say amen. Whether you want to say it from your mouth or you want to write it in the comment, but just stand in agreement. The Lord says he wants us to come in agreement for our finances because there are some powers that are sitting on so many people's finances. From witchcraft powers to your very own sin, to things from your region, to things from a generation. And they are fighting against your hard work and your success. But in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jebon de Cotona, Rebok Nakata, O ye gates, lift up thine head. O ye perpetual doers, lift up thine head. Be thou lifted up. Be thou lifted up. Be thou lifted up so the King of glory shall come in. The Lord says he has plans to prosper us, not for us to perish. Abide everything that was sent to cause us to perish. Financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or even in our health, in any area, I'll bind them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power sitting on our finances, every antichrist, any witchcraft, any altar in the name of Jesus. Jebon de Cotona, Rebo Nakata, Ribian de Cotona, Rebeza, Jebon de Cotone. In the mighty name of Jesus, I send blood and fire, lightning, thunder, brimstone, fire upon every satanic altar operating against our wealth, our success, our breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, mighty God. Anyone that collected money from us, anyone we helped, anyone we paid, anyone we did business with that tamper with our money anyone that blessed us with satanic money to try to close our windows and our opportunities oh god of daniel oh god of daniel anyone that is trying to keep us born in poverty mm. i bind every spirit of poverty i curse it in the name of the lord and i set it on fire in jesus name mighty god of daniel the lord says who the son sets free is free indeed my God Almighty, you said, you know the plans you have for us, plans to prosper us, mighty God. Mighty God, you said you called us to give us life. And you called us to give us life more abundantly. So I ask those poor by whose authority does they fight us and try to hold us captive. By his stripes we are healed. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. By whose authority does they hold your prosperity captive? Your wealth captive. Your success captive. Curse them in the name of the Lord. I curse them in Jesus' name. I curse them in Jesus' name. I curse them and I decree, I declare anywhere our finances has been held up, it is now loosed in the name of the Lord. Somebody say that. Anywhere our finances has been held up, it is now loosed in the name of Jesus. I send fire to anything sitting on our finances. For God's glory's sake, for God's glory's sake, every poverty that has been fighting us loses us now. Shame and disgrace has been fired into the camp of the adversary. They will neither laugh at us and say, Our eyes have seen it. But weeping and mourning has become their portion. The Bible says the thief shall repay seven times. So I decree and I declare everything they have stolen, they repay us seven times seven what they have taken from us in Jesus' name. Somebody come in agreement with this prayer for your finances. And when you get your breakthrough, please come and testify. God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. See you